Hey, Tim Black and Jonathan Masters. I'm out of Colorado. How you doing tonight? Uh, I wanted to give you an update about the New York City mayor's race, and um, I'm a little disappointed. Paperboy did not win. He was going to get uh, uni um, universal health care, free Wi-Fi to everybody, housing for the homeless, and his UBI was $1,000 a month. But Maya Wiley, Maya Wiley is still in it, so that was a part of my top five, so I'm excited about that. Um, it looks like to me so far you have Eric Adams who's leading with 32%, Maya Wiley with uh, 22 percent, Catherine Garcia with 20 percent, Maya Wiley is down by about 75,000 votes. And so I think that the numbers are going to stick like this. This is with 96 percent reporting, so you're only going to have like 4 percent or more people coming out here. So I think this was a, an exciting race. I just want to, I guess, just kind of give you an update on it. There is 13 candidates. You had mentioned that there is 8 candidates. And then the, the reason why I think that's important is because the whole Ranked choice election strategy, I don't think people understand the point of ranked choice voting, so they don't know how to vote, and then they get all discombobulated because they think that there's something, you know, like uh, some sinister thing behind the whole thing. But uh, even Paperboy, Paperboy, this, uh, the biggest mistake that I, I, I saw in a poll that came with the mayor's race was that most of the uh, New Yorkers voted for one candidate. They just voted for their top one, and then they just left the rest blank, including Paperboy. Paperboy only voted for himself, so when his name is kicked off, then it, he has no two vote for his vote to be redistributed to, which means he just wasted his vote. He just threw his vote right in the trash. And so um, this, this yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit mixed because I feel like Eric Adams and Catherine Garcia are your conservatives and Maya Wiley are your progressive. And I would like to see the progressive win, but since ranked choice voting is brand new, if, you know, you have a progressive voting system and then a progressive wins, and they might say, oh, look, look, uh, you know, your, your voting system got your guy in, so if a conservative wins this time, then maybe we'll, you know, educate the public and actually uh, get the, the strategy, because the strategy is to pick, pick the top five that you like. Pick the top five that you like and then rank those in, in order. And, um, and if everybody would have done that, then I think that some of your – more of your long shot candidates. And Diane Morales, she lost too. Diane Morales lost too, which I was real sad about. But I think that, she, you know, all these candidates would have had a, a better chance if um, the people would have understood ranked choice voting a little bit better. So, yeah, that's, that's my update. You got any questions for me? <laughs> Man, that was perfect, my brother. I appreciate your job for calling up and doing that, brother. No problem, man. I appreciate someone listening to me. So, all right. Have a good one, man. Hey, Tim Black.